You hear that? It's humming. It is humming, ladies and gentlemen. So, this thing has been jamming like crazy. And I've been calling my cut Xerox support every single day. And I've named this thing Sir Jams a lot. And I'm like, Sir Jams a lot, it's having an issue again, guys. Finally, they figured out there was an issue inside the machine in the decurler. They ordered a new part. They put the new part in. Then they figured out that the decurler unit on the inside is like warped and stuff. And so that's the cause of all of my issues. So thankfully they replaced the decurling unit. I have done so much on this machine today, y'all. I have done full bleed trifold brochures because I also use my guillotine cutter back there. I have done postcards two-sided I have done oh yeah I used my new folding machine for my brochures as well so that's really cool what else have I done flyers today I'm printing booklets right now it has done it all and it feels so good I have run that machine all day today another thing I did I took fiery off of our PC over there which runs all of our printers in the shop because supposedly Fiery and Flexi don't like each other, is what I've been told by my Mamaki guy. But, and we have had issues printing our second printer over there. But I figured out you could put Fiery on your Mac and it works great. And I put Impose on my Mac. And so the efficiency of me being able to find the files that I need from my Google Drive and to, to just because I can navigate a Mac so much better, so much faster than I can a PC. It's been fantastic and I can do it from my desk. That's been great. So this machine has been running like nonstop all day today and it feels really good. So I got a couple of negative comments on my last video that really bummed me out, man. I mean, I did a video that I never posted, kind of an angry video, just like explaining things a little bit. And <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do it not so angry, but I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I've owned an advertising agency, which I still own today. That's Inspire, you see a couple of signs back there. And it's in a large city. I live in a small city, okay? I also own a very successful video production company in a large city. And I wanna do something good for this small city that I live in. So I bought a building and it needed a lot of work. And I, th I thought what I could do was um, open up the outsourced printing that I was doing for all my marketing clients over the years and do it for more people. And so I opened it up as a print shop that's not going to do any work in house. That was my philosophy. Well, I made decisions to start purchasing some equipment in house, not because I thought, Oh man, if I buy this piece of equipment, I'm going to start making some money. I would never do that. I've been in business for way too long to be that dumb and that naive, okay? I recognize that, okay, I'm gonna spend like a hundred grand with Science 365 this year. I think I could afford to spend 30 grand just to buy the equipment for printing all this window perf that I'm printing, which is a lot. And my profit margins by doing so are so much better, yes, my bank account has gotten dry lately, but dang, like we're doing stuff for major school systems and stuff. They take a long time to pay. I've finally got it worked out with most of them to pay me 50% up front, but it's taken me too long to figure out that that's what I need to do. I've been raising my prices lately. I've, I've had just a game plan for, you know, reducing mistakes. I've had a game plan for higher profitability for this business. And everything I've done so far this year as part of my game plan has worked out really, 
really well. So while some of you think it's a very naive fin financial decision for me to purchase a flatbed at this point, there's a reason for that. Like right now when I make signs, I'm printing, I'm laminating. Uh, those materials are expensive and then you got to apply it. That takes a lot of labor. I want to print directly to this stuff. A lot of these signs I'm doing, I got a 30 grand project right now where I'm printing signs that are going indoors on rigid material. I don't buy equipment thinking it's going to finally be the greatest thing for my business. I've done this very methodically. And um, anyways, I just want to put that out there. The flatbed is coming. I do appreciate all the feedback I get from this channel. I have learned from this channel. The reason why I do this is because I have learned so much. I have saved myself so many stupid mistakes because you guys have taught me something. And I mean that, I love feedback. But sometimes when it's just like, you're making a stupid financial decision, blah, 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 blah. You don't know the full scope of things. Um, you know, I do have other businesses to fall back on. And um, I've sold a business, uh, prior to starting this one. So it, I, I'm in a good situation, don't get me wrong, but I'm trying to be open and honest with people about what's happening with this print shop. And, um, and when you're doing this, this is what it is. I'm just being open and honest about it. I know I'm gonna expect criticism for some things, but um, I'm trying to be real. The flatbed is happening. I'm not gonna be like, woe is me. I've made a bad financial decision because someone told me it was bad. No, I have a flatbed. It is coming. I ordered it like three days ago, two days ago, two or three days ago. It's coming tomorrow. It will be here tomorrow. I have to get those windows are all coming out. All of them are coming out because it's gonna have to come in sideways because I was not able to find extended forks anywhere in southeastern North Carolina. So my laminator table is having to move. The laminator table, because I'm not gonna use the laminator that much anymore, I believe I'm gonna take it off the rails and I'm gonna put it in the middle over here and I'm gonna use it more for our screen printing business, which has also taken off and is doing really good right now. Production. There's red cards right there. I have seven jobs right there worth, I don't know, three grand or so probably. Maybe between two and three grand. Of And those shirts are coming, yeah. That's actually probably four grand worth, at least four grand worth of screen printing that we have to do and uh, those shirts are coming in. So we're, we're gonna have like a screen printing week coming up and I need to be able to organize all those different orders on in a more organized way. And I think that table is gonna help us out tremendously. Poor cash flow management has been an issue for sure. That's my project board right now. I'm very busy. We got a lot to do. I do have other employees that work here too, by the way, guys. Um, there's me, there's Chelsea. There's Vinny, who we just hired from a sign shop out of another larger town, and he's moved here, and he's got a ton of sign shop experience, a ton of wrap experience on uh, vehicles. So he's brought a wealth of knowledge here, and uh, I think I do need a front of office person, but I don't want to get uh, the cart ahead of the horse, so to speak. So I'm taking it little steps at a time, I'm growing a business aggressively, um, 40 years old, you know, retirement is coming up in the coming years and I'm trying to build something for the future. So we'll see how it goes. I do appreciate you guys tuning in tomorrow. We're going to be taking some footage of this massive flatbed coming in, um, uh, windows coming out. It's going to be interesting. I'm a little stressed out about the whole situation and, uh, Hopefully it goes well. Thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate the comments, guys. Do appreciate the likes. And 
I'll see you in the next one.